Um, apparently it's gonna be one of those days again. I, I just got woken up. It's pretty early in the morning. It's like 7 a.m. And I just got woken up by the tornado sirens going off again. Man, we just went through this a couple of nights ago. One hour later. So today is going to be kind of an interesting one. I've already showed you uh, <laughs> how we woke up this morning. Tornado sirens going off for the second time in a few days. Both of these storm systems came through Montgomery as well. So today we're going to take a ride up to Montgomery and make sure the house up there is okay and uh, everything's all right. Normally though, when I make these trips to Montgomery. I just fast forward through all the travel time. It's two hours drive and, and I'll fast forward it. But there's actually quite a few things to see along the way. How they, some of it might be controversial and some of it is not. So I thought today, while I'm on the way there, I would take the time and stop along the way to show you these places. I mean, should be all right. Just as you're leaving up Alabama, matter of fact, right after you get out of it, right here on the left is our first stop of the day. Immediately as you are exiting town, you come up on Frank Jackson State Park, Veterans Memorial Scenic Overlook. That is a mouthful. Uh, basically, it's a really pretty overlook over um, Lake Jackson. They've also utilized the park to turn it into a veterans memorial. Uh, this is maintained by the city of Op. The giant guns here, one on each side. This will actually be the first of two parks that we'll stop at, although the next one may be a little more controversial than this one. And you know, I'll explain more about it once we get there. It, there is a driving loop with parking spots all around this park. And as you drive around, they have, well, it's like a marble headstone almost with a flag. Looks like for each war, it's World War I. This one over here is World War II. And it, next to it here is the Korean War. And then smack dab in the middle of it, is the scenic overlook obviously this is lake jackson it's really windy today though hopefully you can hear me over the wind but uh, it's a great place to come bring your pets and just have a, a relaxing enjoyable experience picnicking or just hanging out by the water they have all kind of benches all down here by the water. Listen to that water sloshing. Now you could probably come and go swimming in this also, but I wouldn't do it myself. But you could if you wanted to, if you were brave enough, I guess. And then to wrap up the rest of the wars, here we have the Vietnam War. The flag's missing, but there's the Cold War. Then Desert Shield and Desert Storm, 1990 to 91. You got Operation Iraqi Freedom, 2003 to present. And also Operation Enduring Freedom from 01 to present. Um, all right, that is Ops Veterans Memorial Park. Now I'm gonna move on down the road as we head into Montgomery. The object 
is to get to Montgomery, check out the house, make sure everything's okay. Then we're gonna head on back. The next spot that we're gonna stop at though, um, it's a little more controversial and it is a Confederate soldier memorial park. That's why I said it's a little more controversial, but uh, it's still part of history, so we're gonna stop and check it out. You're just driving down the road and you run up on this campground sitting right out in front of it is a confederate memorial confederate veterans memorial park pretty much this confederate park is uh some statues some marble there's a few old cannons out here i'm not sure where they come up with these old cannons and stuff if these were you know like here on this property or what but there's a statue of a soldier here and then back here is a giant cannon a dick gun there's a like headstone for an unknown alabama soldier confederate states of america about 10 minutes up the road from that confederate memorial park right before you get into luverne alabama there is these buildings they've been here forever i've passed by them forever they have always been shut down they appear to be fairly new but i've i've, I've never saw them open ever looks like you can go inside and play basketball and bowling in here now across the street is also a skating rink or it was that uh they're both owned by the same person and it just so happens to be NBA star Wesley person he was from here in Luverne and I guess he wanted to give something back this uh, this complex that was built by Wesley person but not only could you play basketball and go bowling inside off around the back over here they had go-karts there was a batting cage I mean this place seems like it would have been ridiculously fun and yet again, I have been traveling down Highway 331 for so many years. I, I never saw it open, not once. Right here, this is, would have been the go-kart track. And I, I would venture to say there's probably go-karts inside of this building. Then back here in the back was the batting cages. And then there's some other building off over here to the right. If uh, I'm not mistaken, it is a putt-putt golf center and this was definitely a putt-putt golf course over here vandals have come and raided the giant air conditioner units for the scrap metal it's just sad but yeah here's a, a putt-putt golf course right here i would really like to know if there's go-karts inside of that building there with the go-kart track around it that would be interesting to know. Well, moving on further north towards Montgomery, our next stop will be in Highland Home. About an hour away from over there near Laverne, we get to the last small town that we will go through before we get to Montgomery. It's called Highland Home. And Highland Home has something unique. Well, for starters, Highland Home is called the home of the Flying Squadron. Apparently they have a, uh, a National Guard group or an Air Force group or something that come from here in Highland Home and you know you've all seen like the helicopters on the poles up for for show uh, they'll have some old World War two or uh, Vietnam airplanes up for show well here in Highland Home they have well it's a new plane I mean not new but ones that we still use anyways they have an f-16 it's an F-16 fighter. The United States military uses these jets right now. Underneath here, they even have the slow arm, so when they land on a uh, aircraft carrier, it catches the wire and stops them. That's cool. I just thought this was neat. I, again, I pass by it all the time and i've never once stopped to take a closer look at him the shops at east chase here in montgomery 
This is probably one of the busiest areas in Montgomery for shopping. There's dozens and dozens of restaurants, steakhouses, places like uh, Chili's, Texas Roadhouse, all kind of places. This is probably the busiest area in Montgomery on a normal day. Obviously, the times now are not normal and it's dead. The coronavirus has uprooted and changed everything. Even Victoria's Secret is closed. It's just remarkable at how much this pandemic has changed the face of the world. Well, after arriving here at the house in Montgomery, everything seems to be in tip-top shape. Everything is, uh, it looks good. Doesn't seem to be any damage here at all. That's always wonderful news. So we made sure everything at the house was okay and even spent some time there. And now we're headed back. Well, we have made it back to Op. We just wanted to go make sure everything was in order there. Nothing had gotten damaged. And everything did look good at the house. A few small twigs or limbs had fallen. Nothing much, nothing major. There was no damage, so that's always a positive. We also got to see a lot of the attractions or scenery on the way from Op to Montgomery, which was cool. Um, either way, that's going to do it for this one now. I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you want to help support the channel, check out the links down in the description box below. It helps keep us going, and it's much appreciated. You can also help by clicking the thumbs up button and click that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. You can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter at RealBamaMike. Thank you all. I will see you again tomorrow. I hope you all have a great day. Stay safe and stay healthy. King of the road. Trailer of the sailor in. Trailer of the sailor in. Ain't got no cigarettes, but...